Since day one, we had this dream to have the motor and the gears unified all in one simple box put on the bike. When we first tested the Pinion MGU, we knew straight away we had uh, a product in our hands that could redefine and reimagine the modern the MTB. Something completely different, silent, clean, quiet, a real pleasure to ride. The project was radical for us. It was completely opened up our horizons with the center of gravity so low in the bike and without the rear derailleur, it really allowed us to have a lot more fun reimagining the way you ride. The MG offered a new way, a new approach in, to design the bike. We really like started from the paperboard to rethink everything uh, and in terms of kinematics, stiffness, everything we could optimize everything to, to just create the bike we wanted to ride that is uh, super fun to ride like the most technical climbs uh, but also when the slopes goes down. To me the PNMG allows us to reduce the unspring masses and to have a much more liberated suspension so you have a lot of traction on the ground, suspension works really well. That first moment you realize you can shift in the middle of a rock garden as, a, as you come through the berm or as you're mid-air on a jump it really liberates your, your riding style. The belt driver riding experience, it, uh, it's a different world. And in winter, you don't loop your chain, you don't have to clean anything, you, you just ride. You know this trail, like where you have all those rocks, you enter and you have like to just zigzag with, with this bike. You just go, right? It, you don't have to worry about anything happening on the rear on the bike. With the Franken bike, we can test the geometry, the cinematics, so we can change the position of the shock, we can change the size of the wheel, we can change the position of the motor or something like that. We had an idea of what we wanted to do, and the Franken bike allowed us to validate the concept and the numbers we decided for this frame. We wanted to have a large capacity battery, but still have a, a nice and slim looking bike. Integrate everything nicely. And to do this, we had to create our own battery to really get the bike designed as we wanted it to be. We have two ways of testing. The first way is the lap test. We can test on the whole duration of the bike, some parameters like the resistance, the stiffness, and yeah, some scientific stuff. After, we have also the field testing, so it's real important for us too, because it's how the bike feels in reality and in the real life. So like that, we can have the perfect bike.